Hello everyone. Thought I'd just give you a little update on the the crop progress. So things are coming along nicely. Did have a bit of a worry with the cucumber plants for a while, but they seem to have fought back through the bad weather. And hopefully we'll get a nice nice crop off them. We've got the, the kale and the broccoli all doing really well and the beetroot sprouted um, we had to replant because Milu managed to tip over the entire um, planter that they were in destroyed the lot so um, Andy built the, the big bed swing around again here and we thought we'd pop them in there where they're a bit safer <laughs> so um, we've got carrots which we've really failed dismally at thinning out so we're probably going to have the smallest carrots in the world but it's our first try so potatoes are looking good and we've got some garlic chives down here we've got some other herbs growing yeah they're all coming on quite nicely so let us know how yours are are doing if you're growing things um hope you had a really lovely stand today we had a really good one i couldn't do a live from there because i was shuddering under the tree as usual feeling cold um the weather's just i cannot keep on top of it at all i got really sunburnt on friday and then the next day it's absolutely torrential rain 14 degrees I think down from 31 um, yeah it's madness but it's a lovely stand and then we went over to meet another stand in the Telford standers in in a pub um, over their way for a drink which was lovely got lots of um, ideas for, for collaboration in the future so yeah, really, really positive. Um, oh, hello, Michelle. Oh, thank you. Yeah, it's looking good. I'm really pleased. Um, it's funny growing stuff for the first time because you're kind of fussing around them like they your little babies that you're rearing. Um, yeah, and sort of, it's quite exciting. Like every day, it looks like they've grown a bit more. Um, yeah, it is. It's very exciting <laughs> to be growing stuff. Um, but yeah, so um, really, really interesting conversation as always. And I think one thing we've all noticed is, my God, they seem to really be throwing every, every narrative at us at the same time. And all that seems to be happening um, through them doing that is that it just kind of dilutes, um, dilutes the, wow, I don't, the message of fear I guess that they're trying to 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 keep to keep going um you know we've got things kind of I don't follow the news as you know um but there's no way of avoiding kind of what what's out there so you're always coming across it but I've noticed you know one minute it's all the Ukraine stuff the next it's the monkey pox which doesn't seem to be fooling anyone even those that have you know really gone along with everything and like, oh, come on um so there's that we've suddenly got all the climate stuff um it's all it's all kind of thrown in a in a mess um really um it just yeah i, I don't know what that's about is that that they're panicking that they are feeling that they're losing their grip and or is there something else behind it i really don't know but i just think it's um it just looks very yeah once again that the wheels are coming off which they are you know they are even though to us it's painfully slow and sometimes it seems that the the agenda is kind of getting ahead there and um you know that it, it it's kind of it's it's rolling out ahead of the the awakening whatever it is that you want to call it 
but actually there's just more and more stuff coming out every day and my theory about this which is why i do remain positive and hopeful um whilst being very realistic and mindful of the really tough times ahead i think that we're in that age now of of truth i think we have moved into another frequency as part of our our evolution our spiritual evolution which means that the lies can't really contain themselves any longer um things that probably would have gone unquestioned for for years and years and years are immediately you know they're 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 being exposed for what they are and i do think it's a frequency thing i do think it's you know these these lies the, the misinformation um it, it's all when it's introduced into this kind of atmosphere of, of truth or the vibrations of truth, whatever you want to call it, they can't stay hidden. They're, they're just, and I, I, I wonder whether um, that's why we're seeing, like we're having everything but the kitchen sink or probably the kitchen sink as well thrown at us at the same time because it doesn't, doesn't come across as very controlled um or very well thought out um that's just my thoughts on it i don't know what you think um i'm just having a look at some comments as they're coming as they're coming up we'll say yeah i'll be there i'll see you there hopefully on the 2nd of july um colleen monkey con yeah you're not kissing hello julie hello love hope you're well looking forward to seeing all the pictures of paul um oh god the shingles yeah I, I mean yeah it's just it just smacks of desperation to, to me um i don't know whether that's just you know me wanting it to <laughs> to be that but it 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 does it does seem to be um that they're losing their grip even further so yeah running distractions daily it really is isn't it and i think they're having to speed things up and get more and more and more out there to keep us distracted um from what is definitely a growing awareness um that things are not right um you know and i do think the the big squeeze, um, the financial squeeze on people is really going to to wake up more people because, you know, just looking around at, you know, normal people just trying to live their lives and it's becoming increasingly difficult too. Um, so, you know, that in itself is is a catalyst for you know just asking the questions like why is it like this why why are things going this way how come people have been predicting this and and here here we have it so you know it, it's it's one of those kind of positive negatives or negative positives i guess all of this this situation i've said it before unfortunately and I'm not the only one to have said it, um, that thing, no matter how much we've known this is coming, the, the masses um, have got to have it so, so bad before they, they stop and, and look up around them. It's, it's, ex it's extremely frustrating because obviously it didn't have to go that way we've we've known what this is but at the same time it could only have been this way and it it's like the you know the level of sheer evil behind this it's not just um greedy people that want more than us it's that they actually get off on us suffering um they want us fully enslaved um and just reduced completely as human beings 
until people see that kind of evil I, I don't think many people could go from being pretty much asleep to it all to, to that, that massive realisation I think it it would be too big and that so there's possibly this this more gradual coming to terms with with what we're in here um as a kind of self-preservation thing um it's yeah i think it's even for those of us who who've known about all of this stuff for a long long time oh god you know some of it the stuff with the kids and you know some of the more out there stuff it it's you know it's very very hard to deal with when you're actually quite hard into this to to accept that that kind of evil does exist um it's very very confronting even when you're quite quite immune to it in a lot of ways um so i think it's unfolding the way it's it's supposed to unfold um and all we can do is stick together keep keep doing what we're doing build our alternative communities um get those systems into place that serve us and yeah detach from from them as much as we possibly can if that's what our focus is on then it's going to come around a lot quicker um and it is out of necessity i think there are definitely some people who are clearly not destined to wake up they will take their last breath defending the status quo you know within their their bubble of of Stockholm syndrome and that's just how it is and it's very sad but I do think there's a bigger purpose to everything and for whatever reason that's that's theirs that's their journey for for this particular experience human experience um in our so-called timeline um but we just you know carry on doing what we're inspired to do what we're we're compelled to do um and that's all we can do really um i felt very um very inspired and uplifted by the other standards i met today and was thoroughly encouraged getting together with um stands that are, are fairly local to you so you can do things regularly um as as a group and then obviously if you want to make contact with with people on a larger scale super stands are a great way to to do that to get that going um you know and that's in in whether that's in the uk or australia or the states or canada you know wherever it is you are um we will happily advertise those um, but it's really, it's really well worth, um, yeah, creating that wider community now. Um, we've got our our lovely stands established um, for our local areas, but it's it's always really it just injects more energy um, when you're coming together with other people um from from different areas um and obviously we we feed feed off each other people have got amazing ideas and when we're sharing like that it's great um i don't know if you've seen the post before mentioning that we are being really heavily shadow banned um we're just not really appearing <laughs> in people's feeds um at all now so um for all the lives that i do I do upload them onto uh, YouTube, so you can just find us under a stand in the part UK. And they are posted on Telegram, so we've got a Telegram channel um, and the, the UK chat group. Um, Getter, uh, Twitter, which is, that's just a posting of the YouTube uh, videos. So, yeah, it's unfortunately... Um, it, it might take a bit of an effort to see <laughs> to see the videos that Brady and I 
um, tries to put out regularly. Um, so yeah, look, have a wonderful day, rest of the day. Um, I think it's very late in Australia now, so lots of love to you. Hope you're having a good sleep. Um, big love to you wherever you are. Um, I will reply to your messages when when I've got off here, because um, there's quite a few. Hello to everyone, thank you. Um, thank you for your messages. Hi Willow, I'm good, how are you? Um, right, you take care. I'll speak to you soon, lots of love, peace.